September 1st, 1993, a boy named Eric is born. As Eric grew up, so did his appetite, and quite quickly, his friends and family began to notice his ability to eat insanely large amounts of food. One of Eric's childhood idols was Goku from Dragon Ball Z, and Eric aspired to one day be able to look like and eat just like Goku. Eric put himself on an 8,000 calorie a day diet consisting of ranch dressing, peanut butter, Taco Bell burritos, and many, many more delicious treats in hopes of one day becoming just like Goku. Unfortunately, Eric forgot the whole working out part of the plan and at his heaviest, he tipped the scales at a whopping 230 pounds. Now, 10 years and millions and millions of calories later, Eric attempts to revisit his old bulking diet in hopes of being able to relive the deliciousness and the nostalgia of his early years. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video, folks. Welcome back to a very special video. Fun fact about me, you may not know, but I grew up, let's just say, pretty husky. Oh, good, it was just a dream. Actually, husky is a bit of an understatement. I was big. Yo, what up, folks? I'm ready to do, uh, like, what, take, take five? Uh, the uh, sparks come out of my board. Now, everyone, you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, and you're probably wondering to yourself, Eric, you? That? What happened, dude? And the reality is, folks, I grew up very overweight. And let me just tell you, folks, I didn't get there by just eating spinach, egg whites, and chicken breast. I've always loved food, but I really loved food as a kid. So I was thinking to myself, what would it be like if I took all of my favorite foods that I used to eat as a kid and a teenager, and I ate them for an entire day? Now that sounds like some serious nostalgia waiting to happen. And to take it up a notch, I did weigh 230 pounds of my heaviest. So I thought to myself, you know what? What would it be like if I tried to eat 23,000 calories since I weighed 230 pounds of all my favorite nostalgic foods that I used to eat as a kid? It's also been quite some time since I've done a little cheat day. So I figured, you know what? Why not do one like this? The major downside to all of this is with what's going on in the world. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to have access to all the foods that I used to eat as a kid. But you know what, folks? I'm gonna try my absolute hardest. Everyone, it's time for another challenge. Let's get started. Tomorrow the day begins, so you guys know what that means. We gotta go shopping. It's like the world's healthiest grocery haul. All right, everybody. We have our goodies, we have our deliciousness, and tomorrow the day begins. Game time. <sighs> All right, everybody. So it is currently seven o'clock in the morning. Starting my day off how I usually start my day off, having some delicious coffee in my Electric Empire mug. So I haven't done one of these in a long time, actually in about six months. We're gonna start the day off like usual. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee, and then I'm gonna head out, crush a bike ride, and then it's time for our first meal. It's time to get the day started. Let's do it. Whew. Let's get this day started. A few moments later. An hour and a half in, and of course, of course, we have a flat. Only on the days that I do videos, I get flats. Only on the days I do videos. It's like I'm gonna get a ride home. I can actually pick up some food on the way home, so it's kind of a good thing this all happened. I'm just Thank you for picking me up. All right, everybody, so here's the deal. The day's gotten off to a little bit of a rough start. We'll just put it that way. That being said, it's 10.30 right now. Since we're out, we're gonna stop at two places. The first place, is a place I always used to go to as a kid, Carl's Jr. aka Hardee's in some places. They have amazing breakfast sandwiches. Place number two is a local donut spot that I've never been to before. And I'm excited to try it because I, as a kid, used to eat maple bars with, don't laugh at me, with fat-free milk. I don't know why, I just thought I was healthy, but that was a common breakfast of mine. So we're gonna go to those two places and it's time to start meal. How you guys doing? Good morning. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, two of the maple bars, please. Two maple bars? 
do you... Oh, you do? Oh, okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and get um, four then, please. Oh, I'm sorry, I ringing for a half dozen. Oh, uh, it's all good. I only need more money. For the cinnamon rolls, how much are those? I'll give you two of those. Two of those? Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, we'll do two cinnamon rolls. Yeah, those look bomb. Take care, all right? Yeah, we'll see you. ya. Forgot to also mention I love cinnamon rolls as a kid. Ooh, snap. Look at that. Oof. Final stop for breakfast. Carl's Jr. Can we do two sausage, egg, and cheese biscuits, please? Sorry, we stopped serving breakfast at 10 30. No! Oh, really? Do you guys have like any breakfast items? Just a breakfast burger? I'll get one breakfast burger, please. And do you guys have the French toast sticks by any chance? Oh, uh, yes, we do as well. Let me just go ahead and get the fresh French toast sticks. Dude, we missed it by like 10 minutes. Bruh. Thanks a lot, man. Take care. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our goods for Carl's Jr. Our donuts and some more goodies at home. It's time to get meal number one stuff. Before we get to the first meal, though, we gotta weigh in. So we have our starting weight. Now it's time to get to breakfast. You guys know it has to be done. Ah. Oh man, it's epic. All right, Electric Empire, we've... <laughs> Goodness, we've had quite the morning. I don't know if this, this is an epic stack of pancakes, but it's it's, it's not quite staying up all the way. That's what she said. <laughs> that looks magnificent. All right, everybody. So we're getting around to our meal. It is a little bit later than usual, but good thing. Whenever I was a kid, I woke up really late and always ate breakfast very late. Just to kind of give you guys an idea about what time it is. It is currently 12.23 right now. What day is it? It's Tuesday, May 19th. We have a lot of deliciousness on this table. Can we just take a moment to admire this? Goodness, just check that out, people. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do for this one, everybody, is I'm just gonna give you guys a full rundown with each meal. Let's just say, you know what, I'm gonna put a little, little thing on the side and just give you guys a full rundown about what we're doing here. Just like that, folks. Ooh, we are ready to get into this one. Oh man, goodness. Let's just, let's cue that music. That dun, dun, dun. You guys know, if you haven't already, give the video a like if you pooped today. No! no. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Uh, at, least the, at least the concept was there. Like usual, before I get into this, I gotta let you guys know the total calories that is in this first meal right here. I'm gonna put the total calories right there for you guys and also the total macros, that means protein, carbs, fat, those are gonna be listed like right there for you folks. Without further ado, everyone, this is the, this is the I ate everything. I, you know, whatever. This is the Eric the Electric childhood teenage diet food challenge slash cheat day. Let's do this. Okay, what to start with first? What to start with first? That is the question. You know what, everybody? These pancakes are looking good. I think we're just gonna get right into it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get this one started. Whew, let's do this. We're gonna say, it tastes like childhood. So good. Here we go. I'm telling you guys right now, if you haven't tried this combo yet of cinnamon sugar and peanut butter, you gotta try it, it's absolutely amazing. And yes, I mean, I never really used the fork whenever I ate pancakes. All right, guys, well, our cinnamon sugar peanut butter pancakes are down. Let's see what we got over here next. Ooh, the breakfast burger. It's good. Mm. Man, I forgot how good those are. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, Carl's Jr. is down. So far, it's going absolutely amazing. I'm just gotta tell you guys right now, the nostalgia is coming back. I definitely think it's time to get over to our donuts next. But which one do we choose? All right, 
the classic maple bar or the other classic right here, our cinnamon roll. Both of these actually look fantastic. Just because I ate maple bars way more as a kid, we're gonna get into the maple bar next. Here we go. So good. Maple bars are down. Now we gotta get over to these massive cinnamon rolls right here. <sighs> Bro! Donuts are down, folks. All right, so we have two items left in our breakfast right here. We all know this is exactly, exactly what happens whenever you bite into one of these. Ready for it? Ready for it? Reese's Puffs have a special place in my heart. I'll never sing like that ever again. Can't make any promises though. The Reese's, if for some reason, if you're watching this video, I'm still looking for that sponsorship. Maybe one day. All right guys, the Reese's puffs are all down. I just gotta say everybody, this is a fantastic tasting breakfast. Just uh, getting my carbs in. All right guys, well, our breakfast is done. It looks like it's now one o'clock, 102. Still the same day, of course. But the total calories consumed so far, like right there, total macros consumed right there. Now, uh, I went on my bike ride already this morning. What I'm gonna do right now is just go for a little walk, try to get some of this digested, and then it'll be time for meal number two. Whew. All right, guys, so, wow. I can still taste peanut butter in my teeth. It is a few, it's like half hour later, 45 minutes I've been walking. Every time I do these types of videos, I try to make it very apparent to you guys. If I wasn't doing activity, if I wasn't as active as I am, I definitely wouldn't be able to do stuff like this so it's very important that I keep a high activity level and uh, speaking of that I do have a gym session later on today after my next meal which we're gonna get to in just a few seconds but uh, yeah I thought I'd just chime in with this and let you guys know that activity is very 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 important just like that everyone it's time to uh, go get some more food and it's time to start meal number two because as a kid, I always loved lunchtime. Alrighty, so here's the deal, everybody. As a kid, I never really got the best packed lunches, okay? In fact, I was always made fun of because of what I brought to school for lunch. Anyways, we won't talk about that right now. I love lunchtime because I would skip lunch and get the best lunch after school because I could get fast food, which is truly where I got my love for fast food, all right? And I have a lot of different places I could go for fast food right now, but I'm gonna go to the ones that I always went to after school as a kid. Number one, Taco Bell. Number two might surprise you, but Subway, because I always tried to eat fresh, but it just, just never really happened because I usually chose Taco Bell and played endless hours of World of Warcraft. Anyways, let's go get our food. <laughs> Ooh, someone just cut in front of somebody. Uh-oh, not good. Ooh, this person's pissed, dude. Guys, I just wanna say right now, if you cut people in line, don't do it in a drive-thru. I'm just gonna say right now, the best Taco Bell items ever made. Number one, cheesy gordita crunch. Number two, the grilled stuffed burrito. Steak, not chicken. Number three is the chicken Caesar salad burrito or crunch wrap. Can't remember which one it was, but they discontinued it. Taco Bell, if you're watching, please bring it back because it's amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and do one grilled stuffed burrito with uh, steak, please. We unfortunately do not sell the grilled stuffed burrito at this location anymore. We just continued it off the venue. Um, okay. Know, that's a bummer. That's a huge bummer. Um, okay, so you guys, so you the have. The burrito is the second closest thing. 
the the what's the closest thing? Supreme with steak. All right, I'll trust you. I'm gonna get the burrito supreme then with steak, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, two cheesy gordita crunches, please. And that is gonna do it. No problem, brother. It'll be thirteen fifty-five. Okay. How do you discontinue? What is going on? What is with like I I show up thirteen minutes late to Carl's Jr. I miss breakfast by thirteen minutes, and then they discontinue. They literally discontinue one of the best items of all time: the grilled stuffed burrito. How does that even work? 2020, man, I swear. I'm heated right now. I'm heated. Taco Bell, if you're watching. Goodness, man. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everybody, we have our Taco Bell. Now, the next stop is Subway. I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you guys right now. I don't feel like taking my camera into Subway, so I'm gonna get my subs, and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. All right, guys, we have our Subway, our Taco Bell, now, it's time to get home. It's time for lunch. Now, I know I already have two foot longs, but I gotta make something classic. Oh, nice. Eight grams of whole grains. And no high fructose corn syrup. If you're a 90s kid, you'll know. Add a little bacon. That's what's up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take a peek at that one. Everyone, goober, bacon. White bread, deliciousness. We have we have quite a lunch in front of us right now. 245 right now. I'm not really sure how many calories I'm at for the day so far. And today is really not all about calories. I'm just enjoying myself. And I hope you guys are liking the video so far. And if you guys like videos like this, if you guys like, you know, casual, I don't actually even want to call this a casual G day. This is still a lot of food. If you guys like days like this, be sure to let me know down below. We have quite a spread in front of us right here, Taco Bell, and this amazing candy that I used to eat all the time as a kid. This is Mexican candy that tastes absolutely delicious. I used to eat it all the time. I haven't eaten it in a while, so I got some of those. And also some tumorindo, tumorindo, tumorindo candy. We have our sandwich and also some snacks I used to eat all the time, folks. We have fruit gushers and fruit by the foot. Now you guys gotta pick down below which one are you? Are you guys team fruit by the foot or are you guys team gusher? I'm just gonna say it right now because it needs to be said. I'm team gushers, but fruit by the foot is also amazing as well. I had to get some rock star energy because folks, I needed something to fuel my long gaming sessions on World of Warcraft and I always loved Rockstar, so I got some of those. And last but not least, we got some cheese balls. Uh, once again, folks, if you grew up in the 90s, you have some love for cheese balls. All right. That being said, folks, I think we're ready to get into this one. I'm not sure the total calories that are in this, but I'm gonna listen to total calories when I do know them. I'll put them right there for you guys. And total macros, that means protein, carbs, fat, are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. And uh, oh yeah, I also got some Diet Coke as well. I think we're ready to get into this one, folks. It's time for meal number two. You guys haven't yet. Here's your second opportunity. Be a rock star and give the video a like. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my goodness gracious! Peanut butter, jelly, and bacon sandwich, folks. Wow, that looks absolutely legendary. Whew. All right, folks, it's time for lunch. Here we go. <clears throat> Man, good. All right, guys, well, that sandwich is down. Goodness, that was amazing. Here we go, folks. This is the closest thing to the girl stuff we know. Pretty basic. All right, guys, well, grilled. No, I almost said grilled stuff burrito. That burrito was down, and our first rock star is down, too. There's nothing left in there. Nothing left in there either. Like always, folks, just reach your eyes. This is legit what I used to do as a kid, and what I still do now. Cheese according to the crunches are down. Starting to feel the salt kick in. And pretty much every macronutrient that I've eaten so far. I really hope these are like not the like super duper hard ones. I know they're soft. 
All right, here we go. I think these are like dried plums or something. We got the seed. Very salty. Ooh. I'm sorry guys, but I have no idea what I bought, what I bought, but I thought it was something different. That is so much salt. My mouth is literally being obliterated. There's 2,000 milligrams of salt in just like a few of these. I'm gonna put these over here and just pretend that I never attempted to eat them. I think next we just gotta move over to something sweet. We gotta get into our gushers. Folks, that was, wow. All right, folks, and we are going to get right into the green gusher first because I don't care what anybody says. Green gushers are the best gushers. Gusher time. I didn't gush. Gush. Why aren't you gushing? Did they like make these ungushable? There's nothing inside. Alright guys, well, gushers are down. Our second can of soda is down, as you guys can see. Well nothing in there. And nothing in there. Wait for it, wait for it, I'm gonna try to hit you guys. I'm gonna try to hit you. Almost got you. Uh. Alright, well, we brought the foot down. Let's get over to my favorite, or one of my favorite, sour candy. Brands I used to eat all the time. Now I eat this whenever I go to the movie theater. If I was feeling something sour. Well, alrighty, folks. That was really sour. I'm trying to get over to our Subway sandwiches. So we're gonna start with this one, which is the one I always, always used to order as a kid. For me, the order was always simple. All you gotta do is get white bread, American cheese, and bacon, just like so. And that's just the way I liked it. All right, this up was down. So let's start our cheese balls. And like usual, RIP at the roof of my mouth. Well, yeah, some more people. That's for you. Just so you guys know, when I got this as a kid, I'd never put lettuce, spinach, or any onions in it. Just a lot of chicken. All right, everybody, well, lunch has been completed. Like I said, those are down. The cheese balls are down. <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure how many calories I'm at, but I'm starting to feel it. I'm also slightly regretting eating all of those cheese balls, but currently 3.30, and now it's time for me to go to the gym. Man, that was brutal. It's my first leg day, squat day in like three months since quarantine started and it was crazy. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, Eric, how are you in a gym? How are you in a gym? I go to a private gym, everybody, and they're, let me just tell you right now, they're taking really, really good precautions to make sure everything's sanitary and everybody's safe and all of that. So don't worry, I'm safe. I promise you guys. I wanted to take a little break from the craziness of this video because I have something that I feel like is important to you guys. You know, a lot of you guys are gonna be watching this video and if you guys don't know my story, I went from being labeled as obese by my doctor as a teenager to being diagnosed with anorexia nervosa as a, as a man. What I went through as a teenager, you know, from being obese to anorexic really changed my life. And I don't get to talk about this much because, you know, I, I know that this channel is, is centered around food. It's centered around food challenges. But what I went through, it made me realize a lot of things about myself. And it made me realize a lot of things about society. What I realized is that losing weight 
being fit, having a ton of muscle, all of those things that we think are gonna make us happier and feel better about ourselves, give us more confidence, all of those things that society wants to tell us are, are true, it doesn't always happen. And I, I realize that a lot of you guys may have similar stories. You may have lost weight yourself and you may have felt more confident, but at the end of the day, feeling better about yourself and feeling more confident, feeling all of those things that we all want to have really isn't gonna just come solely from weight loss. I had to realize that the hard way before the weight loss happened, before I started fixating on my body and calories and nutrition and all this stuff at such a young age, before all that started, I was a carefree kid and all of that changed, all of that changed after I lost all that weight as a teenager. I lost that carefree happiness that I had as a teenager for almost a decade. And that's a decade of my life that I'm never gonna see again. And uh, I feel like now more than ever, I feel like my old self. And I know a lot of you guys, you don't know me in real life, but you know, I, I feel so happy now. I feel so, uh, so grateful for my life. And I feel like the old Eric. And that's really something I only really discovered, I'd say, in the past year and so i don't really get to tell you guys that very much but i just want to say that you know if there's any of you out there that feel losing some extra body fat and all that is just going to automatically make you feel all that self-confidence and everything that you want it may short term but just realize that the real things that matter go way beyond way beyond you losing a few pounds now i know a lot of people are going to hear me say stuff like this and be like well eric weight loss actually can help me and you know what it may it may and not everybody's going to get an eating disorder from from losing weight and I, I realize that i've gotten a lot of comments and responses like that before whenever i've, I've had talks like this whether it's on instagram youtube or, or whatever it is and a lot of people like to to take what i say and and take actually just what everyone says it's a society we live in and people overgeneralize things people overgeneralize what my message is to people but it's up to me to tell you my message and what that actually is and my message to you guys if if anything to take away from this video folks is is i want everybody to live a fulfilled life after that be as happy as you possibly can i know it sounds really cliche but it's true and lastly be healthy i'm the healthiest i've been in my entire life right now believe it or not but also not just physically healthy but be mentally healthy that matters a lot too hopefully i was able to get my point across with you guys uh, if you guys want to know more or see more i do have my instagram all my social media links i'm very i love to interact with you guys i love to interact with my subscribers my followers but i'm not going to talk about that anymore back to the eating it's time for dinner folks it's time to head to pizza hut because i need some pizzones if you guys don't know what a pizzone is that's what it looks like right there it's delicious and after that it's time to hit the store because we're gonna have a pretty big final meal Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. No problem. You have a good rest of your night. You too. Alrighty, folks. We have our pizza hood. Now, we just gotta stop at the store really quick. And it's time for our final meal. Brilliant. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So, it is about that time, folks. It's time for meal number three. If you guys have watched my previous days, of adventures with food before. You guys will know I usually save my biggest meal for the last meal. Let's, uh, let's get everything all, actually everything's pretty much all presentable already. I decided to get a cake because one of my childhood best friends, if you guys remember Ricky, I actually had him in my Cheetathon video from, I think it was called the Cheetathon video in 2015. Anyways, Ricky's mom always made the best cakes and she used to make me cakes. I would legitimately stay up until 10, 11, sometimes midnight on Ricky's couch eating entire cakes to myself. I decided to get a strawberry shortcake because Ricky's mom used to make the best strawberry shortcake. So shout out to you, Ricky, if you're watching, you're probably not watching, but anyways. Next up, we have Cosmic Brownies. Cosmic Brownies, folks. I've said it many times in this video. If you're a 90s kid, you'll understand how amazing these are. Oh my goodness. Ugh. And I do have my Diet Coke left over from earlier, just in case I need it. It is currently 7.49 May. My teeth. We're gonna get into this one, folks. Like I said, we have our Alfredo, breadsticks, bazone, cake, and all of our other sweet items. Total calories for this meal are gonna be listed like right there for you guys, and total macros will be listed right there. If I'm able to get all this down, I believe we'll just be around 23,000 calories, maybe just a touch more than 23,000 calories. And uh, yeah, just like that, folks, we're ready to get into our final meal here. This is meal number three. Let's do this. In case you guys don't know what Cactus Cooler is, Orange Pineapple Blast, it's pineapple soda. Now the choice, like usual, is what I start with first. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it. 
already let you get par. We're gonna start with the Brazil. Here we go. It's just as good as the first day I had it. First, the zone is down. Ladies and gentlemen, when I tell you I love the Pizone, I loved it so much that I ate one and I made my mom order two more that same night. Spectacular. Mm. All right, guys, well, the two Pizones are down. Oh, man. Sorry, I need to censor my burps. People don't like my burps. It's like I should create like an OnlyFans for my burps. I mean, it's not like I already have an OnlyFans or anything. All right, guys. Well, the breadsticks are down. Whew. All right, the salt is really coming in strong, right? So that looks great, but I think. What we gotta do right now is get into some sweetness. So we're gonna get into this next. And take a gander, everybody. That is that is one delicious looking strawberry shortcake. Ooh, yum. Take a gander, folks. Now what we gotta do is we're just put some there in there. Just ah. I always get you guys every single time. Every single time. I didn't do anything that crazy as a kid. At least not with marinara sauce and strawberry shortcake. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Mmm. Amazing. Wow, so good. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just having a moment. This is a rich cake. Whew. We should get our food in today. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake is down. Wow. That was a lot better than I thought it would be. Ooh, I've never actually tried chicken alfredo from Pizza Hut before, so let's try it out and see how it is. Oh man, Pizza Hut. Let's see if we can jazz this up a little bit more, All right? A little bit more. Let's put some barbecue chips. Yeah, there we go. It may just do it. Here we go. Well, mm, that's good. Two trays of pasta down. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Let's your chips. Ugh. No chips left behind. All right, guys. Well, power chips are down. Our cactus cooler is down. Now I think it's time to move over to our cosmic brownies next. The only real thing I hated about these as a kid was unwrapping them. 270 calories per brownie. Yeah, a lot. I've noticed these a lot. Here goes two calories. Now it's time to get into them. This one is dedicated to you guys and 15 year old me. Cosmic brownies are done. Ladies and gentlemen, we have four items left. Alright everybody, we have our three musketeers bar left. I just want you guys to know that I love you very much. And uh, I love creating content for you guys. And 
And uh, I just want to say thank you once again to all of you who have stuck with me. If you guys are still with the flow of the video right now, what I need you guys to comment down below is Skittle. <sighs> and just like that, electric empire, our day is complete, and I feel like I. I've achieved the ultimate nostalgia factor, just like I wanted. We also successfully did 23,000 calories of all of my favorite childhood foods. This is the time of the video where I show you guys my post-challenge weight. All right, everybody, so 8.59 Tuesday, time for our weigh-in. It's gonna be a brutal night for sure, but regardless, I had a great time filming this one today. If you guys wanna see more of these, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Like always, if you guys wanna watch more videos like this, I have an entire playlist dedicated to all my crazy calorie adventures. I'll put that right there for you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you guys like this video and wanna see more content. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody. I'll see you guys next week.